Hello Biomats, so in this video I am going to show you how to troubleshoot KV interlock in x-ray machine. So first I am turning on the MCB. From MCB the power supply is getting into stabilizer which is used to protect from voltage fluctuation. Uh, next I am going to uh, turn it on in the control panel. So it takes uh, 50 seconds for the capacitor to charge. Yeah. So you can see uh, the capacitor has been charged. So we will set the appropriate uh, procedure to carry out. So I will explain you the uh, detailed application of an X-ray in the next upcoming video. So I am just pressing the standby button and expose. So you can see uh, it is not getting exposed. So you can see there is a KV interlock uh, in the display. Yeah. So let us open the uh, generator, generator's outer cover. Yeah. So you can see uh, there is a red light uh, is glowing. So red, there is a red, red LED is glowing. So that means there is a problem. So these are the possibilities. Uh, we will go with uh, one by one. So first we will check uh, check the feedback signal cable. Uh, we are connecting to pulse 19 board and pulse 21 board. So I am just cleaning it and I am just checking uh, is there any loose contact in the cable. So there is no loose contact so I am just reconnecting it. So I am just checking for pulse 21 board also. So I'm just cleaning the cable and also uh, I'm cleaning the board. So I'm just checking uh, is there any loose contact. Yeah. So I'm just reconnecting it. Sometimes uh, uh, loose contact also due to loose contact also the red light uh, red LED can glow. So we'll just go with the next step. So we need to check the set KV value. But before that, uh, we, uh, we need to set uh, KV value as 40, 50 in the control panel, so that uh, uh, the out, so that we can uh, uh, see the output as uh, 2.5 volt in the pulse 19 board. So you can see the second pin and the ground uh, ground pin. So these are these two are the test point for the set KV uh, to check the set KV. So you can see the set KV value. It is displaying 2.4. So you should need to set the multimeter in the DC mode to check the ZKV value. So I am just checking the input supply for the pulse 18 mode. Uh, you can see uh, input is also proper here. So it is DC, 24 volt DC here. So next we will uh, check the capacitor. So while checking the capacitors you need to be careful because uh, uh, there is a high voltage DC supply stored. So we need to be careful while you are checking. So we need to discharge it. So I'm just going to use our uh, test arm, so which is connected in which is connected in series. So um, now I'm now I'm discharging the capacitor. Yeah, you can see uh, our capacitor has been discharged. So we'll just check the HRC fuses which is present above the capacitor. Yeah, you can see uh, the continuity is coming for the first fuse. So we'll go with the second fuse. Yeah, you can see there is no continuity is coming. Mm -hmm. So we'll remove it and we'll check one more time. Yeah, so I have removed it. So we'll just check continuity. So you can see there is no continuity. So we'll replace it with, we will replace it with new one. So it's an 100 amps fuse, so it will be available in uh, locally. So it will be available in markets. So we we'll just take uh, the continuity for the new one. Yeah. So you can see uh, continuity is coming. So we'll replace it. Yeah. So we'll turn it on and we'll check whether the whether uh, LED LED is glowing or not. So you can see uh, it's not glowing. Yeah. So we'll uh, expose it and we'll check. I'm just pressing the standby button and I'm just check, uh, uh, pressing the expose button. Expose. So you can see it's getting exposed and there is no KV interlock. You can see the KV interlock is gone. So I just checked it with the patient for the confirmation. So you can see the clear image. Yeah. So thank you and bye bye.